Today, I will be doing a watercolor painting. I will also be using my inks. This is the Canary Yellow Ink. This is my brown ink. This is my green tea ink. The red ink. The orange ink. The yellow. The light green ink. And the scarlet ink. This is my stamp which is a tree stamp from what you can see right here I would take this tree stamp and stamp each and every one of these inks to give my picture a colorful fall and autumn look I will be using this journal which is 50 pages it's 9 by 12 and it's 114 pounds. I will be doing a fall and autumn look in my journal using watercolors and ink. These are my paint brushes that I will be using, my graphic markers that I will use white gel pen, number two pencil, and a cup. I will put water in my cup for the watercolors. I will use a paper towel to clean my brushes and any excess water and paint that is on my journal. I will also use wipers to clean off my brush and my stamp. Come along and create art with Sharon Johnson. Sharon Johnson Art. I forgot to mention the white paper. Just a regular white typing paper or printing paper. I also forgot to mention my washi tape, which it was in the video at the very beginning, and I forgot to mention it. So I will use this washi tape to divide my journal in half. I'm going to start on the second page. I really don't like starting on the first page. I kind of like to start on the second page, so that way the first page can cover up the second page. So if there's anything that uh, might be around my area that's not clean, then I can always get the first page dirty up on the outside. And sometimes it might be on this side, but if it is, I'll just tear it off. If not... I can just go ahead and start on the second page and that way nothing won't get on it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to turn the paper this way. I'm going to put my washi tape on my journal. I'm going to divide it up. You see, I don't know if you can see the creases uh, in the paper where you can tear it off. Let's see right here the creases that are in the paper you can just tear it out and you can hang it up put it in a frame and hang it up this is what I was going to do I stuck it to the paper oh my gosh all right here we go
I am making sure that my two sizes are even. I will be doing a fall and an autumn look on two different sizes. This will be my fall look and this will be my autumn look. I'm using my number two pencil. I'm going to outline the washi tape. This is how I am going to design a beautiful picture. I am going to put leaves on one side and put the trees on the other side. This is a close-up look of leaves when they're on the ground and this is a far off or distance of trees. When you're traveling or when, if you're outside and you see all these big beautiful trees and you can't really see the leaves, that's what I'm going to do in, on this side. I'm going to put the tree over here, different colors because of autumn. And then fall, I will give you a closer look at the leaves. When they're on the ground, and this is what it looks, this is what it looks like when you're on the ground, when the leaves are on the ground, and they're being all crushed when you're walking on the on the ground, when you're walking outside. This is the way the leaves look. They're falling off the tree, it's fall. They're falling off the trees. And when they're on the ground, this is the way it looks. Autumn is when the trees start changing colors. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Okay, I am going to fold my paper in half because I don't need all of that paper. I just need half of it. I'm going to draw a picture of the leaves on half of this paper. I don't need the whole paper. I just need half of it. I'm going to draw a picture of the leaves and then after I finish drawing a picture of the leaves, I am going to take my pencil and color the back of it and then I will trace my leaves on my journal. I'll just trace it on my journal. I place a black cardstock paper on the top of another paper because I would like for you to see what I am doing as I draw the leaves. Because a lot of time it is hard, I notice it in some of my videos, it's hard to put white paper on top of white paper. And the camera might not be able to pick up everything that I'm doing. So I decided to put the black cardstock paper underneath here. So you'll be able to see what I am drawing and what I am doing. I will play music in the background.
I am going to draw some more pictures of leaves. This is the first page, and I'm going to draw some more leaves on this page, which was the other half of the whole white paper, which is the typing paper. So I'm going to draw some more leaves. These leaves were pretty good. I did pretty good on these leaves. I'm just going to spray them out on the journal. So all of them will only have like half of the leaf, maybe a full size leaves on there, maybe like two full size leaves on there. And then we'll go from there. Okay. come in different shapes and sizes. They're not always the same size. should be enough for me to put on my journal to give it a full look of leaves okay let's begin to trace it on my journal I am going to scribble the pencil lead on the back of my paper So that way I'll be able to transfer the leaves onto my journal. I'm going to try another pencil. I want to make sure that I get every leaf on my journal. Let's do the other one. I'm going to use another pencil. Well, there we go. Okay. It should be ready for me to trace on my journal. Okay. Okay, I have my watercolors. I am going to use, I'm going to use my brilliant yellow. The two different oranges. This is like a red orange. And the crimson, which is a red color. The green, which is the light green. Well, Actually, it's called the leaf green. I'll be using those colors. Ultramarine blue. Okay, I'm going to put these to the side. 
you won't be able to see me using the watercolors as I go back and forth. You put a paper towel underneath your journal so the water will not soak onto the other paper. Okay? Let's get started. First, you're going to wet your paper down. An effect of the water and the colors that's going to be going on to the paper. Give it some effects. I will play some music in the background as you see me paint my leaves on this journal. First, I'm going to do the background. I'm using yellow. Don't forget to use your paper to dump the excess water off of your paintbrush. The washi tape is my divided line so that I can separate the water coloring from the ink. to finish the watercolor and then I'll come back with the leaves. I am going to let my paper dry before I transfer the leaves on top of it. These are my leaves. I'm just going to add a few on here. I'm just going to wait till it's dry because it's still wet. There we go. Just going to add a few leaves on here. I know this one's real big. I, might, I don't know if I'm going to add it to this paper. If I do, I'll just do maybe like a portion of it. Like right here. And then add some of the other leaves that's smaller onto my paper. Okay, I'm just gonna wait till it's dry because it's still damp. I know I didn't put the blow dryer in the vi in the video at the very beginning, but I'm going to use my blow dryer to dry the paper. As you can see, there's purple right here, 
You see some green. And you see yellow. I want the paper to be dry enough for me to trace my picture. And so that I can get started on the leaves. Okay. My picture is dry. Now I'm going to trace my leaves. You see what I did earlier? I had colored the back of it so I can trans for the leaves on my paper. So I'm going to try to focus in a little closer so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. Let's get started. I am tracing my leaves. Okay, I have finished drawing my leaves onto my journal. I am going to paint the leaves. <laughs> 